Hi everyone, my name is Carl Shakur and I'm a photographer and an adventure enthusiast. And today I'll be talking about how I played and tricked 25,000 people to bend to my will. Nah, I'm going to be talking about a little trick I played on my Instagram followers a couple of days ago. I've been taking photographs for about 4 or 5 years and the question I get asked the most is, what camera do you shoot with? What gear do you use? What is this shot with? What camera do you shoot this with? What kind of gear do you use? Is this no! Camera? God! No! God, please, no! 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 I'm a great believer in not letting your tools dictate the level of craft that you create. Using whatever tools you have at your disposal to make a sick photo. Is it possible to make those absolutely stunning photographs with a tiny like crap camera? So here's my idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk into Best Buy. I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, sorry, sorry. I'm looking for that absolute cheapest Canon I can get. Cheapest Canon? The, cheap, the cheapest like the, I'm looking for dirt cheap. That would be the cheapest one I got. So here's the camera of choice. Canon PowerShot ELPH 180. I think it's the ELF 180. This camera cost me a hundred bucks. hundred and nine dollars. Dirt cheap. Cheaper than all the cell phones. Cheaper than the cell phone that you're using to watch this video right now. It's so cheap. It's so, so cheap. And the photos that it takes look like... Bruh. They look like straight bum. They look disgusting. But that's not the point. It's possible to take those crap photos and turn them into something magical that you can use to inspire people across the world and build an audience with and build like a following with. All right guys, it's Carl here coming through from the editing bay. Just wanted to jump in and kind of explain my idea a little better. So I want to see if it's possible for me to take that little point and shoot, tiny little crap box of a camera and make any of those super cool images that you see on your explore page. I'm going to post them on my Instagram and see if I can trick any of my followers into thinking that they were all taken with a super expensive camera. So, so that's my idea. All right, okay, back to other Carl now. This, this camera is literally the tackiest camera. Look at, listen to the sound that it makes when it starts up. <laughs> oh my God. Fits inside your pocket. Bet your DSLR can't do that. The point I'm trying to make basically is to build an online audience into like pop off on Instagram. You, you do not need a crazy camera it's possible to make for you to make absolutely like inspiring images with a tiny little point and shoot or whatever phone you have so these are the three images that i was able to get with this box of a camera the first one is from haiku stairs or the stairway to heaven it's in oahu uh it's a super popular hike but it's 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 actually very illegal it requires you to like skulk through private neighborhoods and trespass on private land and i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend doing it myself because if you get caught you can get hit with a pretty massive fine of that's right a thousand dollars the second i shot it from a from a garden a little park in town oahu it had like the mountains behind it and a little bit of fog at the top and the third was from this very very strenuous hike up in uh in Oahu as well so the three were shot on the same island obviously these are not yet those crazy these are not by no means good photos because they were obviously taken on a bum camera so we're gonna have to throw a little bit of magic on it just a little bit of a little bit of just to turn the shots up a different notch and like to make it more interesting than uh, than your regular image I'm gonna cut over to Carl, who's editing right now, and he's gonna turn these three magnificent shots into absolute heat. into those those viral images that you can see when you're scrolling on your explore page. Welcome to really really quick cooking with Carl. So here's what I did to make the photo nice. I heated it up a little bit, added some nice dank tones in there, sprinkled in a little bit of fog just to give the shot a little bit more interest, and then I slapped some freshly picked and chopped foreground on there. Hit it with some last minute sharpening and enhancing and boom, you have yourself a sizzler. I did the exact same thing to the other two photos. Hit it with some nice foreground and sprinkled in some nice little tones in there just so they look really good sitting next to each other, you know? Look at that. The set's looking good. It's ready to post. So now that we have these pretty amazing images, I'm going to post up these images on my Instagram and uh, see if we can trick people into thinking they were taken with a very expensive camera. Alright guys, uh, I'm just currently editing a video sitting here in my boxers, but I posted it on my feed. And basically I said, uh, do you think all these images were, which of these images do you think were taken with a super expensive $4,500 setup, like a mid-range $500 setup, or a super cheap $100 camera? That's kind of like the experiment, and uh, 
I wonder what everyone thinks. <coughs> like five minutes. I'm just gonna go through the comments and see what people thought of the <coughs> little experiment that I did. All right. Mason Prendergast says, plot twist, they were all shot with the $100 Power Shot Elf. You're correct! Um, <clears throat> Quim 1982 says, I also go for pick three, $4,500, pick two, $850. Wrong! Rome with Max says, I think it's the $850, $100. <laughs> You're wrong. Sign F Doubt says, I want to say one, two, three. Not sure though. Compression on Instagram takes away the edge. The more expensive cameras have for detail, which levels the playing field for some. It's a great idea though. I love how it shows that gear isn't as important as what you do with it, really. They all great shots, man. I appreciate it, man. This, this comment is exactly what I'm trying to express with this little video that I'm saying here that you don't need that crazy expensive camera. You can really make these like crazy images that we see on the explore page with whatever camera that you have on your person. So Mark Brodygam says for a shitty Instagram, even a potato camera is sufficient. Mike Visual says, Carl, you beauty. Oh, stop. Stop. Shendergram says, all taken with the power shot. You, sir, are correct. Jared is fat. 25 says, I'm traveling to Oahu in a month and I'm wondering where the first shot was taken. It was taken on haiku stairs. It's highly illegal. Very, very illegal. If you do get caught, you can get a ticket of about a thousand dollars. So I do not advise going on this hike. Michelle Mayfield says, I've always wanted to do this hike, but I'm no good at breaking rules. Exactly, Michelle. Let's keep it that way. Because if you break this rule and you get caught, you can get a fine of, you guessed it, one thousand dollars. <laughs> Did you say a thousand dollars? That'll be a thousand dollars. I just wanted to pop in here and just give you my own two cents on why I think that no one else should do this hike. So we started the hike around like 2 a.m. in the morning. We had to like skulk through like private property and like neighborhoods. When we finished the hike and we got down to the bottom, there's like guards waiting for us at the bottom that were chasing us with their, in their cars. We had to literally like hop in a car and like try and get away from the guards. Uh, and, and also it's like obviously a great burden to the people who live in the area. So please, please, please don't do the hike. Because even though it's, uh, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't tell if the view is actually worth the amount of trouble that we went through to get the shot, I, I, I wouldn't suggest doing like, just my own two cents. And to wrap things up, Ryan Moam says, regardless, they all look good. So the moral of the story is, great photographers take great photos. The camera simply is an accessory. And I could not agree with this final statement more because what I'm trying to make a point is that you sh we should all be trying to improve our skills as photographers rather than investing unnecessarily in expensive gear because the gear is not what makes the photo. It's the photographer that makes the photo. Feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I'm interested to hear what you guys thought about this little experiment that I did. And also subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of, uh, videos about travel, photography, or commentary on literally anything that is piquing my interest at the moment. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in and spending a little bit of time with me. Uh, again, my name is Carl Shaker, and don't forget to stay adventurous. Peace. A thousand dollars!